Hello and welcome to part one of my Facebook lab class. For those of you who can't make it to physically sit in the class with me, I thought I would just take you for a little walk uh, down the Facebook side with me and learn a little bit of uh, what I teach people. So let's just get started. Here we go. If you click on the Facebook icon, you'll notice that that brings you to a home space. The next icon to the right is where you'll find people who have requested your friendship. You can decide whether or not you want to friend them or not here. Um, I have a whole theory on that that I've written on my blog about, albertideation.com. This is where you come for messages and you can also see all the messages that have been sent to you here. You can also send a new message by clicking up here and that'll open up a little editor where you can type in uh, friends names and then choose them and add your message in here. You can also send your message to someone on their mobile device. You can attach a picture or video and also attach a file. This uh, gives you an opportunity to send up to 20 people a message. The next icon is your notifications and this will show you who has written to you recently. If you want to see all of your notifications you can just click at the bottom of that pull down and that will show you all of the different notifications you've received recently. Um, some other interesting things to notice uh, this right here the sort recent stories first pull down you can also choose to let uh, Facebook do the choosing for you by going to the highlighted stories first. Um, up here, this is where you would update your status and put in some information, making a video for my students. This is also a good idea is to add a picture to things that you're going to post. And you can just follow these steps to uh, find a good picture to post and to add to all of your posts that makes them a bit more um, interesting for people and uh, interesting is good. Here is a little pull down menu where you can choose to who you want to share your posting with. You can also share it with the list of people that you've made um, or you can just share it with yourself. You can customize who you're going to share it with. I tend to make things public, but sometimes I make things just for friends. Over here, you can also add who you were with um, in the moment and where you were with, where you were, where the photo was taken. And there you have it. I'm going to go ahead and post that. And now you can see that that has shown up on my timeline and also will be on the timeline for anyone who subscribes to my posts. If you want at this point, you also can decide to delete uh, whatever it is that you've just posted. Um, you can also like your own posting, like someone else's posting. You can comment on the posting, something about commenting, and basically anywhere in Facebook if you want to um, type in and create a link. You start with the at symbol and you then type in some letters and you'll see a pull down menu for anything that you've ever touched. If you then finish by uh, selecting what's in the pull down menu, you'll find that it has made a link. And links are good because now if I want to, I can go out and see what I've linked to. Ah, it's my fan page. Well, there you have it. And that'll be something I'll talk about in a little while. So back to the main page of your personal profile. There is also the ability to start off by leading with a uh, photograph or a video or to use the question feature. I highly recommend not using the question feature. It tends to just gum up everybody's uh, notification area. So I, I don't recommend people use it. If you click on the uh, profile button, you'll find that if you have switched over to the new timeline, um, you get a whole different look at life. And I'll talk about that in a little bit more detail soon. Clicking on the home button again brings you back to the original view that we had. And there you have it. And then finally the pull down button on the right hand side allows you to switch 
depending on which Facebook fan page you want to administer. I've got quite a bunch here. Um, and then this also allows you to go into account settings, which is another area that I'll spend uh, quite a bit of time on in a few minutes. Um, looking down on the left side, you can choose to view your news feed at any time from here. You can click on messages. And I just learned recently, uh, today, in fact, that there's a whole other section of messages that I didn't know about. Uh, here's where you come to look at the events that you have been invited to, as well as ones that you have created. And then for me, the um, next few lines are Facebook fan pages that I have uh, administrative rights to. Next down, there's a whole listing of all the pages that I have administrative rights to, lists that I've created, groups that I'm a part of, apps that I might be involved in, uh, people who I may want to chat with who are online right now, and then at the very bottom on the right you have your chat list and this is also a way where you can find out who's online and perhaps start up a chat with them if you want to. So that is basically all I wanted to say about the um, home page. So I hope that that has been helpful in some way and I will continue on with some more instructions about how to set your settings in a moment and then probably lead into information on best practices for how to administer a fan page. If you'd like to reach me at any time, feel free to contact me at uh, albertkaufman at gmail.com or go to my blog at albertideation.com and sign up for my newsletter. It's a great monthly uh, refresher on what I'm up to and thinking about. Thanks.